40. Matisse got caught leaning, then he landed a right and a left combination. Counter right, and then Ortiz drops Maidana. Ortiz gets dropped from a big right hand. And his legs are very shaky, Bob. Here you see the first knockdowns coming in from Madonna was coming in caught with a right hook that he didn't see because he was delivering his own punch. And then you see it's very similar coming in. You see Madonna land a short straight right hand. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure there's no blood. The right hook to the body by Ortiz. Ortiz trying to load up a power shot. Maidana counter right hand. Drops Maidana. That came after Ortiz was badly hurt against the ropes. I think I said it looks like in his bad. He just did. He quit. Here comes Ortiz trying to finish it here in round two. He's got power with both hands. Ten seconds to go. Steps into the left. Hooks to the body. Madonna trying to fight back. He goes down again. Cannot be saved by the bell in round. He's up and he's getting his count. Oscar De La Hoya is motioning to Ortiz, pointing to his head, saying, Be smart from ringside. De La Hoya Ortiz's promoter. Here you go, you see the knockdown, and the knockdowns are always coming because both guys are so aggressive that they're going in with no mindset on defense at all. And that's why these knockdowns, every one of them that's happening just as the guys are coming in throwing punches, not while they're trying to get away from punches. It is it's amazing we've had four knockdowns in two rounds of boxing. Madonna chasing Ortiz, yeah, shot an uppercut inside. Ortiz quit fight. He actually was moving like a boxer without boxing. They exchange big shots and then hold on. Now they try to fight out of it. Ortiz is cut on the right eyebrow. The way these guys are going, anybody can go down. These are, are nuclear shots these two are throwing. Now that's going to give Madonna more energy now after seeing the blood coming. Even though he was cut himself with a slight cut, now he's going to get more energy now. Now the question is going to be, is that cut from a punch or an accidental clash of heads? That's a good point, because the heads were colliding as, as well as they were punching. Because if, it, if this fight eventually gets stopped because of the accidental clash of heads, they would go to the scorecard. If it gets stopped because that cut worsens and it was ruled from a punch, then it would be a win for Maidana if Ortiz couldn't continue later on in the fight because of that cut. Key point. Good shot by Maidana. Right up the middle. Oh, big right hand by Maidana. Maidana cannot miss with the right hand. Right here, you can see... Madonna land the left hand right on the eye, and that's what caused the cut. No doubt about it. It was definitely not a butt. Here we see Madonna come in here and throw a right hand once again, right on the other. Could have cut his other eye, in fact. Tremendous shot. What a fight. We just saw a moment in a fighter's career that could define his career. Ortiz was dropped, cut, exhausted, faced with an opponent who refused to lose, and in a moment of weakness, gave up. It's not that he didn't make a gallant effort, Ortiz, but in boxing to be great, more is required of you than in any other sport. More is required than is really reasonable. And Ortiz just made a decision he may live to regret. Ortiz, this happened in round number five. Blood starts trickling out. You can see it to the left of your screen as Ortiz knows now that at this point he's been cut. So, right hand, that caused the swelling under the left eye. Ortiz was starting to take big punishment. Then in the sixth and final round, 
Maidana could smell the blood literally and figuratively as he just pounced on Ortiz, picked up where he left off in round number five. Ortiz went down, brought it over to the ringside position, looked at the cut, said could not continue.